this demonstration, you'll learn how to use Space Claim and AIM together to modify, import, and update geometries for your simulation. Go to the Project tab and insert a geometry system into the schematic. Do not connect it to the study. Select a Space Claim SC doc file in the geometry system. Double click to launch Space Claim. In the bottom left corner, you can see that Space Claim is loading. I'll start by modifying the geometry in Space Claim. In the Prepare Ribbon tab, select the Volume Extract feature. Click to select all three faces that you want to close the volume with. Click the Volume Extract tool guide to select a seed face. Select the opening of the pipe, and then click the green check mark when complete. Save your model. Now that we've obtained the flow volume from the structural components, let's move into AIM to import the model. To create a fluid structure interaction simulation, open the FSI template in the data panel. The default geometry option represents the structure and the flow volume, which is what we will use. The option's default is to detect contact automatically. As you can see, typical settings and results will be defined automatically. Leave the geometry default setting, but deselect the option to automatically detect contacts. Then click to create the simulation process. Open the appropriate file. You can view the status in the bottom right corner. The modified geometry from SpaceClaim has now been imported. Now we'll go back to SpaceClaim and to change the dimensions of the pipe so that you can see the simple process of re-importing updated parameters into AIM. Switch focus to SpaceClaim again and use the Move and Pull tools to change the dimensions of the pipe. In the Structure panel, right-click on the Volume and Update the Volume. Save the Geometry. Go back to the Study tab, and in the Data panel, click the Synchronize button to update the geometry. This concludes this demonstration of a high-level example of how to import space clean geometry into AIM.